one of the things about the, the pandemic, really, and, and, and the scale of it and all that, is that um, it involves the whole world. I mean, everybody's, every country seems to have been affected, I mean, every continent apart from Antarctica. So is this an opportunity, do you think, for the world to come, come together and understand the environment, understand nature, understand the role of the, you know, nature and the animals, uh, which we've neglected before? Well, I hope so. It would be nice to think so. Um, but while there are important world leaders who deny some basic scientific principles, uh, and who say such absurd things as to how, in fact, we might deal with them. Uh, it, it's rather, uh, rather a gloomy um, forecast. I suppose the best thing that could come out of it is that we would realise that we are all in it together mm. and that we have to cooperate mm. and that cooperation is sometimes meaning giving up things as well as gaining things. And it can't always be gain, gain. Cooperation does making making allowances and coming to agreements, um, and that the yeah. time for nationalism is over. Mm. Uh, internationalism mm. has to be what we must look forward to, and to bring about a near greater equality between what nations take from the world. And yeah. Western Europe has taken a lot. Mm. Um, and the time perhaps has come to give. <laughs>